off with what I usually carry on my person. If you probably see me walking the streets, I usually look like this. I don't really leave the house, or I try not to leave the house without sunglasses since it's been so sunny lately. I have my keys, which have everything from a Leatherman carabiner, Orbit key, key organizer, I have my gym pass, a homemade SDI keychain, and the AirTag. The AirTag with the Pelican silicon sleeve is the latest addition, and so far it does give me a little bit more peace of mind. The phone is probably the least exciting, and it is the iPhone 14 Pro with 500 gigs of storage, and so far I've filled it up. The wallet, you may have seen it before, is the Louis Vuitton Bifold. For the earbuds, which I use constantly, are the AirPods Pro version 1. I've had these for a few years and I'm actually still really enjoying them. The battery life is handling okay and the noise cancelling is essential in the trains. Now moving on to what I think is a bit more exciting and it is my bag. You may have seen that I do use the Pelican 20 liter everyday backpack, which is great. But since I've been biking a lot more and it's so hot here since it's summer, I do sweat a lot on my back. So I've been using the messenger bag. This is a messenger bag from Crumpler. Since it's crossbody, it allows my back to breathe a little bit more and I can alternate between shoulders. The bag itself has a whole bunch of pockets, starting with the back one. It has a secret pocket just behind the main compartment where I generally store my anchor battery bank. I've mentioned this one before, it charges by USB-C. It doesn't hold that much charge, but I do love the convenience, how I don't need the cable all the time. And it does also have a small kickstand, which I can set up my phone and watch videos every now and then. Also in the secret pocket, I would throw in my AirPods and more often than not, a snack. These ones I've been really liking from Trader Joe's. These little buttons, essentially, it's like a fruit roll up, but cut into little circles and they're just so delicious for a pick-me-up during the day. Moving on to the two identical front pockets. If the battery bank isn't enough, I do carry a dual charger. This one is from Mophie. It's a 45 watt USB-C charger, and I do have the cables that go with it, such as a USB-C to C cable and a USB-C to iPhone cable. This gets me by and charges all my accessories, especially when I'm outside. It's very common to run out of battery in the city. Since the charger is so small, this big pocket can fit my mouse in it, which is the Master MX3. There is a 3S, which I would love to get, especially because we're in a studio apartment. So sometimes if Bay is sleeping and I'm working late, the clicks of the mouse is a little loud, but other than that, it's a fantastic mouse. It's great for editing because it does have the side scroller as well as the usual scrolling. And then just all around ergonomically, since I'm using the computer so much, Pretty good. In the second front pocket, I put my MagSafe charger, which is for, you guessed it, my MacBook. The MacBook I use is the 16 inch MacBook Pro 2021 edition. It has the M1 Max chip in it with 64 gigs of memory. And so far it's been a dream to work with. I did attach a top shell to it, which I think protects it a little bit more allows me to put stickers on it. And I did also attach a slip drive, which holds my SanDisk 4 terabyte SSD. This is what I generally edit off. It's pretty good and they're pretty small too. Since this laptop is fairly large, it just fits in this bag. So it goes straight in the main compartment. On the topic of working and editing, the headphones of choice are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs very stock standard. And then to keep track of all that I'm doing, I do use a notebook. I've been back and forth between just being digital and analog, but I do think the notebook really helps me jot down ideas. So this one is the Lechingstrom. Could be saying this wrong. And I use the dotted version. I was always a blank person before, but the dotted version has been really nice. I want to get a little bit more accurate. And I also use the Muji Pen. This is the 0.5. We bought a whole pack of them, which I'd recommend because we go through so many of these. There is a small sleeve at the back of the bag, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be for a laptop, but it's perfect for the notebook, which just slides in like so. As you can see, the bag is now pretty full with not too much space for additional stuff. One thing I do add is a carabiner and my water bottle to the outside of it. Both of these have been a recent pickup and have been fantastic. The carabiner comes from Amazon, which 
it was a two pack for $6.50 and they're really good. Heavy duty, kind of heavy in general, but very reliable and it fits my water bottle, which is the Hydro Flask. I believe it's 750 mils. I did opt for the one with the straw. I have also converted to that, which has been great, to be honest. As I'm editing, I don't really need to worry about tipping something in my mouth. I kind of keep it in front of me and just keep sipping whilst I'm cruising along and editing. So that pretty much wraps it up. It's pretty heavy, but it keeps me busy and going. I'll let you know if it changes in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.